I was able to connect a 110 generator and have it work with a 220 system. So welcome to Sacramento, California. In our last video you saw where we went and we visited the Battleborn factory and we, sh we did a full walkthrough of how they make their batteries, how they assemble everything. And one of the reasons I wanted to go there was I was having a couple issues with my electrical system. Um, the main issue I was having was getting my mini split, which is right here. Um, getting it to operate properly. It was it was throwing some error codes and I, I could not figure it out. When I plug into a 50 amp service, it would work fine. But when I tried to run it off my batteries, I was getting error codes on the unit itself. And I thought it was, oh, maybe it's a grounding issue. You know, and I, I was doing all kinds of troubleshooting, couldn't figure it out. So I'm like, you know what? We're gonna go to Battleborn anyway. I'm just gonna have them look at my system and find out what's going on. So it was a really, really simple fix. When we arrived there, one of the techs from Battleborn, they came out to the bus and they were able to basically reprogram each inverter to work as a 220 system. So we are getting our system checked on this very cold, windy, snowy day. But look at, look at this customer service out here. I mean, they're out here in the middle of the storm. <laughs> So if you're wanting to do a similar setup where you've got two inverters that's producing 220 so that you can run 220 items like my mini split here, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to reprogram your inverters to work so that the wavelengths are moving properly and working together. Once that programming was done, my system has worked flawless since then. And actually I've been really, really impressed with how well our system works. We can run everything in the coach just off of our batteries. This is another thing I wanted to mention too. I was able to connect a 110 generator and have it work with a 220 system. So that may sound like a really simple thing, but it's, but it's actually not. I thought because I had a 220 system that I was gonna need to have a 220 generator, but that's not the case. I was able to connect it in such a way where that was not necessary. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, so this is my generator bay. In here, I've just got a standard 110 inverter generator. This is the Onan. P4500i, um, one of the reasons I like this generator is it has a remote start. But the issue is this is only a 110 generator and my system is 220. So how do you run a 220 air conditioner on a 110 generator? And that's kind of what I wanna um, share with you guys today because it is possible to do that. And I just, you know, when I was putting my system together, I had kind of a theory and a thought and it has worked out. So what I did is I've got a 50 amp um, plug over here. And from that 50 amp plug, you know, I have full 50 amp wires running from here to my electronic switch that's in my electrical bay. So here is my automatic transfer switch. So it's this part of the switch here. So what I've done is I've actually removed one leg from this so that it's only feeding one of these these wires so normally if you had a 220 generator you would have 110 coming in on one side you'd have 110 coming in on another side and then that would feed into your inverter system over here because you've got 110 and 110 so now that line runs to this inverter right here and it's the only thing that power comes from from my generator. So when my generator kicks on, this is the inverter that's responsible for charging my batteries. This inverter pulls power from the batteries. So because this inverter is pulling power from the generator and charging the batteries, and this inverter is pulling power solely from the batteries, 
I can still maintain 220. So if I wanna run my heater solely on my generator, I can start my generator and everything works together as it should. So it's a little hack um, that you can that you can use. You know, I, I didn't wanna have to buy a 220 generator and it works great. I would say the only downside to doing this way is you can't utilize both inverters as your charger. You can only use one, if that makes sense. So if you are wanting to connect your system like this, and still use a smaller generator, it is possible to do that. And the generator's main purpose is charging your batteries.